my last day in Asia and I am heading back to the UK today. Some stuff I want to do before I head home. I want to go and watch Marvel Black Panther, the new film in the cinema. I want to go and have food in this amazing restaurant I keep going to and I want to fit a massage in. I'm going to answer some of the questions in Dubai probably but now I'm trying to find a cinema so I can watch this Marvel film and I haven't got a clue. I don't even know if it's in English. Can I have a ticket for the 1240 3D Black Panther? 250 back piece. 250. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. 250 baht is like five or six pounds to go to the cinema. How good is that? Number there you go. It's just in there. Oh, okay, number five. Fame or even. I'm not a hero like he was. The kaiju. They're gonna come back. That was an awesome film, I highly recommend it. Where else can you sit on a sofa in a cinema and watch a film? I did think it was a bit weird though, at the start everyone had to stand up and sing the King's Anthem. I thought that was a bit weird, but anyway it's 25 past 3, I'm going to go and grab some food. Uh, Hi, how are you? Uh, yeah. Just table for one please. Yes. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm in a vegan restaurant in Bangkok called Veggie Mayo and it's really nice. This is like, I don't know what it is, but it's like mixed vegetables and a mushroom gravy. So, so nice. And it's like 179 baht, so it's like not even four pound. Yeah, thanks very much, that was lovely. Yeah. Thank you, finished. Um, is it possible to have the bill, please? Absolutely amazing meal, love that place. If you're in Bangkok, Veggie Mae Home, try it out. Next stop, massage. You've just got to find somewhere decent. Aye, right, foot massage. Oh, you drop, excuse me, excuse me, drop your phone. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. Ah. Oh. Cheers, thank you very much. Have a nice night, thank you, bye. Oh my God, I needed that, so good. So I'm going back to the hotel, pick up my suitcase, and then I'm heading to the airport. Where else in the world can you go to the cinema for four pound, get a massage for four pound, and eat at a restaurant for four pound? Honestly, this place is amazing. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. Right, let's get to the airport. it to the airport. I cannot wait to get home. I'm ready to see my mum. Right, first stop, Dubai. Cheers, thanks very much. Thanks very much, bye. And we've landed in Dubai. So that means it's time for my first ever question and answers. I have had loads of messages. Some have been the same, so I'm gonna answer as much as I can anyway. So here we go. First question, Turn and Doyle. Why did you start YouTube? Short story. Short story is I went to America, I snuck into a Forbes event and met Richard Branson, then I met Jonah Hill, and then I come back and my best friend Dan Owen was like, 
mate, you should start making videos of this because it would be crazy. So I started making videos. Lewis Webb, how do you know all these influential people? So before I started making videos, I was involved in property and I used to go to like loads of networking events up and down the country. Like literally every night I'd be going to a different city or a different town, going to different, just meeting different people and that's like, I've got a 16 year old sister, my one bit of advice to her is just meet as many people as you can because you don't know where it takes you. Daniel Coleman, shout out to you. Max Chills Gaming, what is your normal job? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't have a normal job to be honest, Max. Like, I'm, I'm not rich, I'm not balling, you know, I struggle just like anybody else. Um, but I, I make the most of what I've got. And I make videos for people, I suppose. So I make money like just making videos for people, but it's, it's not a great deal. Josh and Patel, what was the favorite video to film? Ooh, that's a hard one as well. I, do you know what? I've enjoyed, like the sneaking videos have been the most favorite ones, like the Emmys, the McGregor, the sports personality. Like they were like the favorite ones, but they were all equally as good, but just different, loved them. Ayub Harris, what made you live this type of adventurous lifestyle instead of working a normal job with a consistent income? Great question. For me, that is because I'm here once, like I don't want to do the cliche of you only live once, but at the end of the day, you know, you only do get one life. And I would rather be skint doing what I love than doing the same thing every day working making somebody else's dream come true i'd just rather do what i want and i've always lived my life like if i died today you know i couldn't have fit more into my life and that's how i live my life i just take every day like that right a few people have asked this question this one's from jacob kiesler i think i said that right mate why do you always wear headphones right let me tell you the story so the first big video was the Mayweather version of Gregor when I snuck in and I put my headphones in so I looked a bit more legit and since then I've just like for the sneaking videos I've just kept putting my headphones in so I sort of like look a bit more like professional I suppose and now it's just come a bit of a habit plus I love rock music so yeah they, they just stay in. And that commences our first question and answers. I hope you enjoyed it and took something from it. Let us know if you should do it again. But keep commenting on the video and I am going to do it at least once a week, I think. But I wanna like involve you guys in the videos more. So any tips on anything else I can do as well as question and answers, just let me know. Right, it is time to get to Manchester and time to get back to the UK. I'm looking forward to going home, but I ain't looking forward to the cold weather. We've arrived in Manchester. Oh my god, it's freezing. Literally, the cold hit me already. But I am happy to be home. Where is the car? Right in front of you. It's freezing, it's raining. Look. <laughs> look, she's brought my coat though. You do look after me, don't you? Of course I do, I love you. Ah. This is what the weather is really like in the UK. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some sleep and I'll catch you all soon.